Partial derivatives can be a really scary concept when you're, when you're taking them in practice, but once you get the hang of it and understand what's going on, it's actually pretty easy. When, you, when it tells you to take the partial derivative with respect to x of this function up here, what it's saying is to treat x as the only variable in the function and treat all the other variables, which in this case is only y, as a number. So if I'm taking the partial derivative with respect to x, I'm going to do what I usually do when I'm taking a derivative. Take the derivative of each of these individual terms. So the derivative of 5x, there's no other variables in it, so we don't have to worry about it. It's just 5, where I'm treating x like the variable, plus 10xy. We have another variable in, in there now, so we have to treat it um, as if it's a number. So if we rewrite this as 10y x, we can just pretend like this whole thing right here is just a number and take the derivative of this, which is just 10y. So if instead of 10y we had uh, 50x, the derivative of 50x is just 50. It's the same concept, it's just that you treat y like it's a number. Um, and then with the y here, if we're taking the partial derivative with respect to x, this y is treated like a number, so the derivative of a number is 0, so plus 0. So this right here is the partial derivative of this function with respect to x. If we do the same thing for y, we're holding x as, as if it were a number. So 5x, if that's a number, the derivative of it is going to be 0. Plus 10xy, if we pretend like the x is a number, the derivative of 10xy is just going to be 10x. Plus the y, um, the derivative of y is 1. So there we treated y like it was the variable, and x like it was a number, and it's, other than that, it's just a normal derivative.